And if you think that this product is going to hide the fact that your lips are crusty, you're mistaken. <laughs> it's not. It's not going to do that. Okay? Hi guys, welcome to Tell My Show. It's a girl Shilly here. If you're new here, welcome. Grab a seat. Join the gang. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I love to see it. As you know from the title, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the new Fenty lip stains. Well, I'm going to be showing you guys all of the Fenty lip stains because... I got you, because, you know, that's what I do. <laughs> that's a strange flex. I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, the lip stains are pretty simple um, in terms of what they're supposed to do. Quenches the lips, brings a wet lip, a wet look shine, and leaves a soft stain. Facts, facts, facts. It quenches the lips the moment you put it on, but when that wet look is gone, your lips go back to being dry. Yeah, so this is not a magic soft stain. You need to hydrate your crusty ass lips before you use this because the crust is still going to show. It's just going to be a red colored crust. So the lip stains are available in four shades. I have them all right here, so I'm going to be swatching them. This isn't the first impressions because I've actually tried out one of the shades. And what I want to say straight off the bat when I first tried this is it does look amazing. But if your lips were kind of dry before you used it, before you use the lip stain, your lips are going to go back to that default dry state so it's really important that you kind of try and make sure your lips are nice and conditioned although this says it's hydrating yes it is but also it's not so it is hydrating in the sense that when you do put it on yes your lips feel hydrated but it's only able to lock in moisture that was already there before you applied the lip stain if that makes sense so if your lips were crusty before you applied the lip stain yes it will hydrate your lips for a little while but you will pretty much go back to having stained crusty lips so do you want stained crusty lips because this is giving stained crusty lips is that what you want okay so we're gonna start from shade one i'm gonna zoom you guys a little closer so that you can get a better view so the first shade we're gonna be trying is called my type this is a pinky shade I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of almost like a hot pink shade, so I'm not someone who likes hot pink on my lips, but hopefully this actually looks really nice. This is what the packaging looks like, and you can see the color at the top of it. So that's what the doe fit applicator looks like. It looks like a decent size. Like I said, I have tried this before, so I kind of know what I'm expecting. Let's um let's do it. This actually looks so subtle, so nice. I think one thing, one good thing about this product is that you can actually build it up to whatever kind of coverage you want. You can apply a little and share it out or kind of really pack it on and get like a full more like lipsticky vibe with it. I'm gonna get this off my lips now because I'm conscious that this is a lip stain and the longer I keep it on while I'm chatting, the harder it's gonna be for me to kind of have a blank canvas for the next color. So let's get this off. Because <laughs> that was really okay to get off. I just took like my um cotton pads and some cleansing oil and some makeup wipes and i was able to get it off in plus i didn't really have it on for that long so it was kind of easy to come off so actually i thought that i would try the first shade again but this time with a lip liner so i'm going in with the kiko lip liner in three in the shade three two one Okay, I haven't actually done a great job lining my lips, but um, forgive me. So I'm just going to put this shade, my type, just a bit in the middle. Okay, so obviously you kind of disregarding my bad lip lining job. This is kind of what it looks like with a little bit of lip liner and just a little, well, I did put like three dots of the product on my lips. And I think this looks really good. It's really like subtle and because it's a lip stain, you know, it's going to stay on all day. But if you're like me you like that glossy juicy look but you don't necessarily want to have more like pigment what you can do is go over it with a clear lip gloss and i'm gonna try that for you guys right now so you can see well this used to be a clear, clear lip gloss um, even though it doesn't look like it anymore um it's contaminated 
This is the Makeup Revolution Pout Balm Maxi Pump Lip Gloss. I don't really have any other clear lip glosses, so you can't really prove my point, but you can imagine what I'm trying to say, right? This is such a delicious lip combo, like, like what? What? So the next shade is Zesty Besty. This is an orangey red kind of shade. I have to say this is the one shade that I was most excited for. Before I actually like swatch it and everything, can I just say that Fenty and Nas, they have this, I don't know who is behind naming products at Fenty and at Nas, but they do such an amazing job, guys. Like, they always have the, the, the sickest names for like, the stuff and I just love it. Essentially how the rest of this video is gonna go is I'm gonna try on the lip stain by itself and then I'm gonna try it on as a lip combo. Just so you guys see what you guys can actually achieve with this product. Also I'm aware that I have concealer lips. It's just cause I have to get the previous lip stain off and the best way to make my lips like kind of blank again I have to get over with with my over with my foundation brush. So the concealer lips are not an essential part to this. <laughs> They're just happening because I obviously have to do a couple of these. So here we are. This is Zesty Bestie. I really do like this color. It's a lot softer than what I was expecting. But honestly, I definitely see myself rocking this this summer. I'm actually excited to try on a lip combo with this. And just to like describe how it feels, like when you put on the lip stain, it literally feels like you're putting on something very hydrating. It feels like really nice to when you press your lips together. It feels really nice and comfortable on the lips, like, yum. probably my favorite lip combo like i don't know what you guys think but let's see if i change my mind we still have two more to go so anything can happen but these look so good like i especially love pairing them with the lip liner and a gloss i know i've been doing a great job with the lip lining but y'all get the gist my lips are a bit sore at this point so um i hope you guys get the gist because it's giving me and my lip gloss is perfect my lip gloss is cool what you know about what you know about this what you what do you what do you, what do you know about this really nigga okay so as you guys can see we're about halfway but my lips are definitely stained um i'm not complaining about that because it just means that the products are doing their job it just makes doing this video a bit hard because i've been kind of like tugging at my lips and using oils and everything to try and get this off but it's a bit difficult but you know they're doing what they're supposed to do so i can't complain so this is kind of why i have given my lips a bit with a foundation brush just to tone down the kind of redness slash pinkness that you're seeing so that we're actually seeing you know the actual product working next up is strawberry sangria i absolutely i love love i actually love the name of this product and it's so appropriate as well oh just in case anyone is wondering these actually don't have a scent which is a bit disappointing because they have such like nice fruity names i would have kind of expected it's like i don't know maybe a hint of strawberry in there a hint of like oranges in the other one or like a hint of like wasn't a my guy <laughs> but you know what i mean like a hint of like a fruity scent in the product um i would have expected but they decided to go with a no scent approach that's cool too it's a little disappointing but it's cool it's cool okay so again we're just gonna do we're just gonna do without the lip liner and then we're gonna do with the lip liner so i've had a bit like this is actually my second time trying to film this video so if you notice that uh, i am wearing the same tap but like if anything is different I couldn't replicate it exactly is all I'm trying to say. I've tried to keep it homogeneous. But if I wasn't able to do that, then I'm sorry in advance. These lip stains are definitely very like buildable. 
you can kind of put on as much as you want or as little as you want so this is coat number two i want to see how deep we can really get like how many coats you need to like get like a proper lipstick vibe kind of feel i'm trying to be really careful with this as well because if you get it in the wrong places it will stain i think with strawberry sangria it's definitely a really nice color that you can wear under like your favorite red lipstick especially when your lipstick doesn't necessarily last all day it transfers a lot um if you have this underneath even when it does even when your favorite lipstick does transfer you still kind of have that like red lip underneath and you don't have to like rush to go and top off the lips like immediately the formula across like the shades is obviously consistent they all don't have any scents so far so um, that's all very consistent do you guys think that we can get this any deeper i'm gonna try going with one more um layer and see what actually happens So this is with about three coats on so you definitely can get that lipstick vibe with it you can definitely like build it up for sure like i genuinely feel like i'm wearing like a proper red lipstick like i don't think i would have seen this in someone and i'd be like oh that's a lip stain no I'd have, i've actually thought this was like a proper lipstick and um to think that obviously this is gonna stay this pigmented the whole day that is absolutely delicious i've been saying absolutely delicious a lot i don't know why <laughs> but like you know it's absolutely delicious um so it really just depends on what kind of vibe you're going for with this product so the world is literally your oyster so <laughs> yes i should really get this off my lips because i still have one more color to go but like i'm just like so in awe of how like i wasn't expecting it to actually be able to build up layer up this much but um i'm pleasantly surprised so ever since i got this lip stain in the shade strawberry sangria i've been dreaming about this lip combo so i'm essentially going to use my mac chestnut lip liner and then obviously my lips are still stained from earlier using the strawberry using the fenty lip stain so i'm not going to really apply i might apply a bit more actually but the idea is I already have some lip stain on. And then as a final step, I'm going to go for this with a Fenty Heat Gloss in Hot Cherry. Like, take a look at that. It's giving juicy strawberry. Finally down to the last shade which is berry banger i have to say that this is probably the shade i was least excited for like i was actually debating not getting the shade if i'm being honest um but i thought i'd get it for completeness more than anything um mostly because it doesn't really seem like a color that i would use all that much but i'm hoping that it's still cute and i actually get some use out of it but it's kind of a deep berry shade um I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that and let's see. Okay, so this is definitely a shade that I would be wearing more sheer rather than like packing it on. I feel like with the third shade, which was Strawberry Sangria, I would potentially like layer that on and get like more of an opaque look. But for this, I'm definitely just going to be like staining my lips slightly with it. This is more for this color, mostly because I don't really like the color. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the MAC Lip Liner in Chestnut again. Okay, so yes, finally found a way to wear this lip look. This combo, I would rock, this combo, I would wear her um i like this it's giving me it's giving me more like older me you know it's not so much me who like had the grunge slash emo phase or whatever i was going through i don't know what i was going through like life be like that sometimes 
<laughs> do you ever look back at like your old pictures and be like what was i going through why did i think why did i think i could pull that off oh my god guys the first time i tried a smoky eye right i have a picture of that let me tell you it was so bad that it only looked nice when i put a filter over it on but like i saw the original without a filter and i was like and uh, ooh. <laughs> i was like girl you better you you, you better take that thing off <laughs> better take it off your face right now because i don't know who let me out of the house like that that was an atrocity that was an atrocity you go to joe you go to joe everybody goes to joe for letting me leave the house like that because bruh mm -mm. Mm -mm. that was not okay okay so that is it i would say that my favorite color has to be i think you guys know what i'm about to say because yeah has to be zesty bestie zesty bestie zesty bestie was she was a look she was she was a look matter of fact because she was such a look i'm just gonna i'm gonna take this off and do the outro of this video in zesty bestie because she deserves a round of applause she deserves another moment um even though my lips are hurting and my lips have been through it today <sighs> i'm just gonna do a quick transfer test for you guys so so i've just kind of like put it on but I haven't like taken off any excess just yet so i'm just gonna have a sip of water and see if anything comes off okay i was thirsty <laughs> that was meant to be like a cute sip <laughs> but yeah girl was thirsty because i've been talking for a bit so um yeah um can't really tell if you guys can see that but no transfer no transfer whatsoever i'm gonna go over my lips with this cutting pad as you can see no tricks here the cutting pad is perfectly white um oh shocks okay well we got a bit off we got a bit off um we did get a bit off i uh, if you guys can see that yeah you guys can probably see that we did definitely get a bit off um in the grand scheme of things it's not a lot <laughs> so i'm not upset but i was hoping that would be like absolutely nothing let's just try again to see if we do get anything else off the second time to be fair like i haven't really left it to dry long enough okay we're still able to get a tiny bit off again in the grand scheme of things not that much actually comes off so you're good you're right like you guys let me know like if obviously from this little bit coming off if that looks like significantly different or anything but i think it still looks good i said i think it still looks pretty much the same i think that this is just like maybe the tiny excess that was left on it overall i really like this product i like the colors um i'm not sure if i've ranked these but i think for me it's going to be zesty bestie as to at the top followed by strawberry sangria and then my type and then berry banger um that's kind of like how i like guys let me know what colors you really like on me because i'm interested to know i want to know all right guys and that's all i have to say don't forget to let me know what shades you guys are going to be picking up in the comment section if you found this video useful please leave a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe join the community join the gang gang shit <laughs> why don't you click on the next video that's probably on screen right now because 10 out of 10, you know, chances are 100% that's going to be useful too. And that's going to be entertaining. Um, you know, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright guys, I'll speak to you guys some other time. Up in heaven, a smooth criminal.